What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I bought some fragrances from Fragrance Buy. We've got Loam Eau de Parfum. Been meaning to grab this. I've smelled it before at Sephora. It's basically boozy. This, because I haven't had a bottle of YSL Loam in years. And I don't want to hear, bro, it's not worth it. It doesn't perform. I don't care. It smells great and I want to wear it. So I got a bottle of Loam. So we'll revisit those and then um, completing the bad boy collection. We've got the silver and the gold bottles, Superstars and Gold Fantasy. We're gonna see if there's any you know, differences whatsoever with those. And finally getting around to Paco Rabanne's Pure Excess, Boozy Sweet. It's been a long time since I smelled it. That's gonna be a revisit as well. So we'll start with the ones I've never smelled and then revisit these throughout. But first, today's video is brought to you by the good folks at Fragrance Buy. Even though I did purchase this, they are partnering with the channel because Canada's turning 157 years old, it's time for their annual Canada Day sale. So let's have some details on the screen. I'll also have the details and links accordingly in the item item description box down below if you guys wanna check any of this out. Because starting today, as this video goes up until July 1st at midnight for 72 hours only, Canada's turning 157 and they're celebrating. For the first 2,000 orders, you're getting free samples. 10% off site-wide with code, code CAD157. And then there's loyalty member exclusive discount codes that will be emailed directly at these tiers. 11% off for the O Collectors tier and 12% off for the O Addicts tier. Again, codes emailed directly to members. Free shipping over $157 Canadian or $115 USD with code 157 SHIP. And there's, of course, with their sales door crashes up to 80% off in the link down below. So I would encourage you checking these out if you wanna catch some of these sales. Of course, even though I will be out of town for my competition this weekend, when this is happening on Friday, I got check-ins, I got spray tan, I got all that good stuff, but I will have some time at some point during the day to do some fragrance shopping in the morning. So trust me. I will be buying some fragrances like I always do when they have their sales. Uh, I will definitely be buying some more stuff. So check them out down below in the links, but let's get into these fragrances and see what's good. What's just okay, because none of them are bad, I'm sure. At least there's only two of them that I haven't tried of the five. I can tell you the three I have tried are so good to the point to where I wanted to add them to my collection. So stay tuned. All right, so let's grab a bad boy fragrance, shall we? This is Gold Fantasy I grabbed first. Yep, and it's a tester in a white tester box. So no secret, I really like the bad boy line. Cobalt's my favorite, obviously. I wanna, it's like Pokemon, I gotta catch them all. Gold Fantasy. This is gonna be a fingerprint magnet of a bottle. Now, because we're doing several fragrances, I don't want to layer myself with all these different things. So we're going on test strips. We'll do two good sprays. See what's what. So this is a cacao heavy DNA, warm spice, a little bit of vanilla. It's sweet designer stuff, but bad boy line is really, really good. I'm sure the DNA will be present. Smells like bad boy. <laughs> Just like it. It's nice and chocolatey. Chocolatey sweet, that cacao pod. It's not as overrun with vanilla, a little bit of pepper. Is that citrus? It smells like a little bit of, like maybe even like a fresh fruitiness, more so than citrus, because it's not really like acidic and watery fresh, but I get like this fresh fruitiness. Mixing with the cacao, maybe there is a little bit of difference here. Could just be on the test strip, I don't know. It smells great though. It smells great. I believe, I don't, I want to say it's not just a collector's bottle and there's something different about it, but it does smell like there's a little bit of fruity freshness here, but let's pull the notes up because I'm, I'm really curious on, because it smells a little different to me. Clearly a bad boy flanker, but it smells a little different to me. This fruity freshness, let's, let's see. One minute, 37 seconds later. So, seems to be a little spicier, citrus listed. Okay, notes are white pepper, bergamot, pink pepper, clary sage, cedarwood, vetiver, tonka, and cacao. That seems like pretty much the same breakdown as bad boy. Let's see. I get a bit more citrus out of this though. 
I do. I definitely get more citrus. Let's take a look and see. It's the same note breakdown. It smells a little bit more citrusy on the paper. So apparently it is just a collector's bottle limited edition. So look at it as glorified having two bottles of Bad Boy. So I'll never, ever, ever go through Bad Boy completely then. Because, yeah, it smells distinctively like Bad Boy, but I feel like I'm getting more citrus. That's why I was thinking even potentially fresh fruity nuance. Same note breakdown, so not surprised here. Uh, because I've heard that some of them somewhere along this was just a collector's bottle that potentially the silver one might be the same thing as well a collector's bottle But the completionist in me wanted to get the rest of them. It's the only two bad boy flankers. I was actually missing And it does smell like bad boy, but again on skin might smell identical because apparently it is But I get a little bit of citrus and you know, it's a great fragrance. It's an 8 out of 10 that's how I feel about Bad Boy as well. It's a great fragrance. It's not the best in the line, but it's a great base DNA. If you like the DNA, you're going to like the Extreme. You'll possibly like Cobalt Elixir. I don't know about how you feel about the Le Parfum. It smells like a bag of weed before it dries into the Bad Boy DNA. It's definitely on the unique side. It smells great. 8 out of 10, but unfortunately it's just a collector's bottle. So let's keep it pushing. Bad Boy Superstars. The silver bottle that's also going to be a fingerprint magnet, I am sure, because it is metallic silver instead of the metallic gold. This one has a black cap. Isn't that special? Yeah. Blotter. A little test strip action going. Two good sprays. Should be plenty. Let's see if we have the exact same result, because there's a possibility it's the exact same result, and I'll now have three bottles of original bad boy. I knew that going into it that that was a real possibility. So I don't want y'all to think I was like foolishly so blind about it that it was like, oh, I'm expecting a different fragrance. My understanding is there is potentially some, you know, ridiculous level redundant. Wow, look at that. Look at that right under the atomizer. It messed that paint up already. So the bottle doesn't hold well as far as this coating. Now, I don't get all the citrus I got from the gold bottle in the silver bottle. This one's more sweetness, and I get more of the woody note. I think it's cedar. It's not sharp, though. This is much more woodsy. Still smells just like bad boy, but more woodsy bad boy. Still get the spice. It's not as sweet. So maybe this one is slightly different because it's not as identifiably directly cacao and vanilla sweet. Like the cacao is not like overrunning the fragrance like Gold Fantasy was and the original is. It's there. Smell it. But it's fresher, spicier, and much more woodsy. There's difference here. This isn't, this isn't just a collector's bottle. This is a little different. I'm convinced of that. Might still be the same note breakdown, but it's balanced differently. Let's see what the notes are. 12 seconds later. All right, bad boy superstars. So the accords are a little different here. Apparently it's sweeter than this test strip's giving it credit for, but definitely spicy and woody. Warm, spicy, and woody's top two accords here. So white pepper, black pepper. There's your enhanced spiciness. Bergamot, cedar, sage, cacao, tonka bean, amberwood. Amberwood's the difference, huh? Amberwood and the black pepper. Let me look. Let me go back to gold. Yeah. So you substitute the pink pepper for black pepper, and you add some amberwood, and you lose the vetiver. So there's a little bit of difference, but yeah, it's much more cedar wood forward, but it's not like sharp cedar. At least on the paper, it's not a sharp woody note, but it's a clear woody dominance here this is very much more woodsy forward bad boy i like this one more than gold fantasy and regular bad boy this is yeah this is more my speed i like this one so much more because you still get the thing the dna of what makes bad boy bad boy with higher level of wearability during the daytime that's where like dazzling garden shines because it's a slightly fresher, more aromatic take. He's still undeniably bad boy, but it's more aromatic daytime wear bad boy. Whereas this is more woody daytime wear bad boy. I'm, I'm definitely glad I picked this one up. 
Gold Fantasy is just another, just a gold painted bottle of the original. But Superstars is the Woody version of Bad Boy. Because again, Dazzling Garden is the aromatic twist. Again, the, almost the identical note breakdowns with subtle changes because there's subtle nuance changes. So a lot of people, it's kind of like with the Strong With You line where people will complain there's too much redundancy, they're too similar to one another. And that's kind of the right way to flank her. You change subtle things to make a twist to speak to certain people's taste a little more, but you don't get away with, from what the fragrance is about. That's actually the right way to do it. <clears throat> people got conditioned with so many flankers, like uh, YSL's guilty of this with Loam and Lanoui de Loam. So they make all these flankers with the namesake, but they end up smelling nothing like the original's DNA. That's part of the conditioning of it, I think. This, this is better. 8.5. I like this one more. This is still great. Not outstanding. It's not crazy good, but... I could get down with this one. Yeah, Superstars is an 8.5 out of 10. So with that, let's go into Paco Rabanne's Pure Excess. I've only smelled this once when I went to Scotland. And it, I forgot which duty-free it was. It was in a bargain bin. They had, the tester was still out. And it was the first time I finally smelled this. And no, I haven't smelled Pure Excess Night. Hefty, very heavy bottle. I know it's supposed to be boozy and sweet and probably quite synthetic. Really good atomizer. Really heavy bottle. Don't drop this on your bare foot. Not gonna be good. Yeah, very vanilla sweet. A lot of vanilla here. It smells like a whiskey accord, I think is what it is. I think it's a whiskey accord because it's, it's it's sweeter. It's not warm like rum. Rum's sweet, a sweet boozy note too, but it's warmer than this. It's like this creamy vanilla, a little bit of citruses, some whiskey. I would put this in the realm of something like C.H. Men Privé, where C.H. Men Privé has got more edge to it. This is a little softer, a little bit more sensual of a fella. Whereas C.H. Men Privé is a little bit more of a assertive, more asshole type. You know what I mean? Kind of has that demeanor. Kind of like me. I do like this, though. That is great on skin. I, I smelled it one time on skin. I just don't remember it well enough. But on paper, it smells pretty damn good. I bet it really liven up on skin. That booziness is coming out more and more. It's even kind of like this... Almost gin meets minty like freshness coming out. Again, it's the test strip, so it's not really telling me the tale of the wearing experience on skin. But let's pull these notes up. More moments later. Okay, Paco Rabanne, 6.5 out of 10, 398 rating, so not highly rated. Sweet synthetic, spicy, fresh gourmand. So we got sugar, vanilla, liqueur is the liquor note. Myrrh, plant juice. All right, cinnamon, ginger, musk, thyme, and leather. Sugar and vanilla makes sense. And the liqueur. I was guessing maybe whiskey, but definitely sugary sweet, though that makes sense. It's a sweet vanilla, very sweet vanilla. I like this. This is good. This kind of reminds me like, um, this might sound crazy on the test strip now, like a deeper 212 VIP men like a stronger one. On the test strip, this smells kind of like what 212 VIP Men smells like on skin for me. Is that a relatable scent for this? No. Let me check Trograntica real quick. See what their comparisons are. You never know. Because I had to use Trograntica for the bad boy fragrances getting no breakdowns. Oh, it's getting better and better and better. Same note breakdown, add a little green accord. So the notes are almost the same. A few differences. It's getting better and better as it settles down. It's getting stronger too. Yeah, and a 212 VIP black, people compare it to. So 212 VIP's DNA for sure. This is much boozier. No. This is 
on a test strip, it's coming, it's getting better every time I sniff it. Man, this is better than both of these bad boy fragrances. I like this a lot. This, this, this rating is going to freak some of you out. You're going to be like, really that? And on the test strip, nine out of 10. I like this a lot. I need to get pure excess night. Oh, damn it. I don't want to go to the gym wearing some strong, boozy, sweet fragrance. But I got to smell it on skin. I, I have to. If it's, if it speaks to me that much on a test strip, I owe it to myself and to you to put it on skin and at least get the opening out of it, right? Let some of that alcohol dry because atomizer really like big, strong fire hose mist. Ooh, nice and spiced. It's not as sugary sweet at first on the skin. I get the tie into 212 VIP Black now on skin though because of the spiciness. This is much spicier than 212 VIP. So the black flanker, that makes sense. I get a little bit of the leather accord now on skin. This is, yeah, nine. I, look, I get it. Not everybody's gonna feel the way I feel clearly. It averages a 6.5 on Parfumo, but I, mean, I love it. Nine out of 10, yeah. Probably surprises those of you that have smelled it. Some of you that don't like it, it definitely surprises you. But I like these sweet designers. Nine out of 10. Yeah, that kind of surprised me. That, that threw me for a loop. I wasn't expecting that. So, L'Homme, Eau de Parfum. So this is basically the original plus some booziness is what I remember of it. So I did smell it one time at a Sephora. L'Homme Eau de Parfum. I've been meaning to grab it. I've been putting it off for like, I don't know, two years now. Give a spritz. Do two good sprays. Super boozy. That might be a whiskey note, or it might be like cognac or something. But it's our spiced rum, possibly, because it's it's spiced. I want to say ginger, but it's like got this like spiced liquor accord. Yeah, it's gotta be ginger. It's really good. It's a really good flanker. Like I said, I've been meaning to get it. Ever since I smelled it that first time, I was like, yeah, I need that at some point. Great date night fragrance. If you like Loam, which I can't wait to get to Loam. I saved the nostalgia pick for last because I used to have a 40 ml bottle, small bottle, years ago of Loam. This is boozy Loam. It's heavier. It wears heavier, but just add booze, make it a little heavier, richer. It's kind of the way to go. I, I really like the way they did this. They actually made, it still smells like loam, just like loam le parfum. It smells like blue loam, just like the bottle's blue. Loam le parfum's really good. Yeah, that's, I'm sticking to that ginger and some kind of booze like, uh, I, wanna, I wanna say cognac, that con cognac. Let's see, let's check out the notes. 12 seconds later. All right, 7.5 out of 10, 145 ratings. Woody, synthetic, spicy, sweet, fresh. Bitter orange, bergamot. Lavender geranium, cedarwood, vetiver, oaken barrel. I get booze. I get booze. Nice boozy hit. Where's my spice? Even spicy accord here. I smells like a ginger spice to me. I like ginger and booze. Hmm. All right, Troll Grantica, you're up. More moments later. Let's see how similar these note breakdowns are. Woody, citrus, aromatic, spicy, lavender. I get booziness here. Cognac in the base. Okay, I knew that I knew it because there's no way. Bitter orange, bergamot, lavender, geranium, cognac, oak, cedar, vetiver. Because I was wondering. Because like I clearly smell like it's either cognac or a spiced rum even, but more like cognac or whiskey, I was because it's, it's pretty sweet whiskey accord. That makes more sense. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no way there's no booze in here. It is getting more woodsy. On skin, it'll probably be a lot more woodsy, but it's getting woodsy. I wouldn't say it's the main accord, but as it dries, I'm sure it will be because you got three woody notes, oak, cedar, vetiver. It's going to be woody dominant when it dries. 
But I get plenty of spice and booze here at the top, and I don't know what to relate the spice to. There ain't no spicy notes. There's citruses, aromatics, booze, and woods. But it's spicy. Warm and spicy. Like I said, smells, it smells like spiced liquor. Sweet but spiced. It's damn good. I don't think it's quite great. I don't think it's the best loam flanker by any means. But it is really good. I'm going to give it a 7.75 out of 10. It's very good, bordering great. It's going to be real situational. I'm going to wear this strictly to dinner. This is a lovely evening wear scent. Casual date night, you know, chain restaurant kind of stuff. Going to have a nice steak and sweet potato, Caesar salad. That's what I get. Get a filet and a sweet potato. Yeah. 7.75. Uno Mash, the classic Yves Saint Laurent Lhomme. Fun fact, one of Justin Copeland's all-time favorite fragrances that holds special place in his heart for him. Lum. Lum. Haven't smelled this in so long. I'm going straight on skin with this one. I want a real refresher. Do a little spray and a half. Sure did coat that cap. <laughs> it's all over. This is an all-time great daily wear men's fragrance. You can wear this for anything. It works for everything. It'll get some compliments. Yeah, it's a, from what I remember, it's like a four-hour fragrance the last time I had a bottle, which was even like seven or eight years ago. Before I had the channel, I had a bottle. And it was like, it was like a four, maybe five-hour fragrance back then. So it's nothing crazy. But I don't mind that stuff. You give me four hours, guess what? If I want to keep wearing I'm going to spray it again in four hours. Woody, fresh, aromatic, a little... A little creamy, a touch of spice. All time great. It just works. It just works. Everything. This spawned so much revenue for Yves Saint Laurent because this spawned all its flankers, including La Nuit de Lome, which is a flanker that spawned its own line of flankers. This is possibly the most important fragrance they've ever released. Because think of the number of fragrances that spawned from this that have that Lom name in it from Yves Saint Laurent. All the cash grabs you guys want to talk about, because some of them technically are. All of the proper flankers, all of the greatness, all of the mediocrity, all of the missable stuff, all of the can't miss stuff. Tons of Lom and La Nuit de Lom flankers that stemmed from this fragrance. So respect put some respect on YSL Loam's name this needs to never go away it deserves to always be on the market a because it smells great it's still widely widely sold and enjoyed by many people it's so good A little bit of spice. I even get a touch of powder. Man, it's been so long since I've smelled this. And yes, English Laundry Riviera does smell similar to it, but this, it's not as good. Performs a little bit better. Old bottles. Old bottles of Riviera. It does perform better. If you can get an old bottle of Riviera, it's better to get than this. That's one of the reasons I haven't had this in so long. I have old bottles of French, of not French Riviera, but um, English Laundry Riviera. It's pretty close to this. Nice hit of spice. Let's pull these notes up. One minute, 37 seconds later. Hey, good on you guys. Eight out of 10 average rating with 1,213 ratings. Loads of ratings and it's highly rated. That's where it should be. Eight out of 10, I agree. I'll tell you now, I agree. Eight out of 10, that's exactly what I rated. Fresh, spicy, sweet, woody citrus, ginger, bergamot, lemon, Violet basil spices, white pepper, tonka bean, cedarwood, vetiver. All that. I even get a little like a creamy, elemy type of resin smell. And it's probably just everything blending together the way the spice violet ginger combo hits with some of the woody nuance. It's groundbreaking modern men's fragrance. 06. God. Two more years, it'll be 20 years since this fragrance came out. Two decades, almost two decades on the market. Time flies. 
it's so good. Eight out of ten is the right rating for it, I think. It's a great fragrance. It still holds up today. I'm glad to finally put it back in my collection. Look, am I going to wear it all the time? No. Very few fragrances get worn all the time in this collection. Because I'm always, you, this is what this video is, new stuff coming in. I'm always trying new fragrances, revisiting, checking stuff off the, the bucket list of, that I've always wanted to add. Like these two, especially this. I've been wanting to add this for a while. Uh, recently decided that I wanted to add these. And this I've been wanting for, you know, two years now, roughly, that it's been on the market. But I've been needing to rebuy this for a long time. And I'm glad to have it. Yves Saint Laurent Lome, one of the greats, 8 out of 10. Well, longer video, it is what it is. Definitely check out the Fragrance Buy sale down below because I certainly will be. I don't miss their sales, I always buy something because there's always something I'd like to try, smell, review, test, add to completing a line. There's many reasons why I buy all these different fragrances, guys. I absolutely love it. Now, this in no way is a video encouraging you just blind buying just for the hell of it. Blind buy at your own risk. Sample when available. Uh, but definitely, if you were going to purchase stuff anyway, here's an opportunity to take advantage of already great prices with some additional deals on top of that. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback and love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried any of these five? What do you think about the all-time great known as YSL Loam? Do you feel the same way? Are you going to sit here and give me a hard time about how it's garbage, it's weak, it's not worth the money because I'm going to see that stuff that's going to happen. People are going to say it. Just don't hit me with 30 minutes. I had a dude get wild and say two minutes on a fragrance yesterday. Cambridge Night, two minutes. You know it's a two-minute fragrance. Ain't no such thing. Doesn't exist. Stop it. There's no such thing as a two-minute longevity fragrance. People are ridiculous on the internet. Whomever that was, Shame on you. Don't type those things on my channel. Go bring that bullshit to somebody else's channel. But for the rest of you good people watching, because most of you are just great, fantastic people in this community, and I sure appreciate you. Thanks for sticking with me through this video. Check out any of these if you're interested. They'll be linked below. And check out this fragrance by sale. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.